Hello? Is someone here? Looks like a ladder fell over. There's a whole bunch of books on the ground. Hello? Oh, that painting is fucking creepy. Is that like a baby doll face on there? That is creepy as shit. Baby doll face with whiskers. Can we read this? Okay. <laughs> I, I guess that's just uh, someone with a very young face. It's like baby face the mobster. Can we turn this on? Cool. Lots of broken stuff. Looks like we're missing drawers here. Ah, something to read. This one's a little bit harder to read. My dear friend, let me ask you one simple question. Have you completely lost your goddamn mind? I know you're going through some rough times right now. I really do. That's why I have agreed to let you do those illustrations in the first place. For old time's sake. I even deliberately gave you a trivial task because I expected Little Red Riding Hood to be something you can draw in your sleep. What I didn't expect is to get this demented nightmare fuel you submitted for a kid's bedtime story. There is no way in hell I'm using this, and I already regret agreeing to a payment in advance. Please, get your shit together. Your old pal, Liam Brickstone, Whispered Tale Publishing House. Well, Nightmare Fuel is a very new phrase. And uh, get your shit together. Also, I'd say probably a little bit newer than the Victorian era. I could be wrong on that one, but I'm pretty sure Nightmare Fuel is pretty new. So this is not sounding very Victorian based on this letter, unless this guy was uh, just ahead of his time. Can we get to this drawer? No? Okay. There's a key here. What do we have? I'm sorry, I'll make it up to you. Tonight, it's all about you and me. Let's make it special. You promised! Apparently, uh, whoever wrote this you promised is someone different who, than who wrote this. So much for the promise. Little Red Riding Hood here. I don't know about that being nightmare fuel. That, that seems less nightmare-y than uh, the painting we've got behind. Okay. Getting a little more nightmare fuely with this second picture here. That's a little dark. That's really dark. And there's lots and lots of blood and gore everywhere, and he's just ripping the girl in half. <laughs> yeah, that definitely looks like it shouldn't be in a children's book. But, uh, you know, if it was maybe meant for a more adult audience, then uh, perhaps red could work with those pictures. There's another lamp over here that we can turn on. Man, this is a really nice library. I want to have a place like this. This looks pretty freaking fantastic if you ask me. It's like some wood all busted up over here. I wonder what was busted up for this wood to be here because it certainly doesn't look like any kind of firewood if you ask me. That's still a really creepy picture by the way. Some other lights in here. Might be a light switch somewhere. There certainly is. Yeah. It's a nice office. Very nice office. So far, that's probably the creepiest picture I've seen in this entire game, was that uh, baby face looking dude. There's a door over here. It's a very strange layout. OK. 
Okay, a little ball bouncing out of here. It looks like a child's room, perhaps? Definitely a child's room. Got bars around this bed, but this looks more like a uh, bed for someone that's a little older than a baby. I guess it's just a fancy crib. Got little bows on there. What do we got in here? Nothing. More nothing. Tiny mirror version of the uh, bigger one. Some kind of rattle of some sort. This looks very Victorian. Maybe they're still going for the Victorian era, but they used some uh, newer phrases. Nice little spinny toy for a kid. That is uh, kind of a creepy looking doll. That smile looks weird with the smudges on there. No names that I can see. Random scratches on there. What we have in these drawers? Another bow. What looks like it might be a very tiny dress. Some trains. So, uh, based on all the pink in here, probably uh, a 30 year old boy's room. Yeah? No? You don't think so? Got a picture. Huh. Interesting. So, in this picture, we've got the dad and the little girl looking fine. And the mom's just uh, covered in scribbles of color. Maybe the mom is the artist and the musician. Also, she's scribbled out at the same time, as if she's not around for even the little girl. Maybe she died. Maybe that's why it's all scratched out. He doesn't want to remember. Some blocks stacked here that looks like it says die in the middle. Is that supposed to be an I right there? Because that looks like that says die. Well, if it is a child, it's probably not on purpose. Just stacking some blocks. Beat this. Death. Uh-huh. Okay, well, this is on a very high shelf for a child. I would say something's a little fishy about this one. And die down there. Maybe, maybe that is on purpose. Is there any more blocks in here? I'm curious to see if there's anything else that spells out anything. More creepy-ass dolls. I'll tell you one thing, that is something I wouldn't want to keep in my house. Kind of a cute looking dog. Kind of weird that it's all black in the background there. Is this open? No, that's locked. So we've got a key to one place. I don't know that we have keys to anywhere else. I doubt that this key works in any other location besides uh, the art room downstairs. We can try. Nope. All right, well, I haven't found any keys anywhere else. I'm not a big fan of the uh, kind of parquet flooring here. Not my thing. I like wood flooring, sure, but not this kind. I do like the wood paneling that they've got going on in here. It would be a cool house to live in. Does our key go away when we do this? Yes. Okay, so it's only meant for here. Looks like our grandfather clock is going off. Okay, so it looks like it's uh, just a little before 1 here. I'm guessing 1 a.m. That other clock over in this corner here looks like it stopped uh, maybe a couple hours ago. Or maybe it's always been broken like that and we're not supposed to take anything from that. 
What the? Okay, the door's locked on me. I've just been locked in this artist's studio. Oops. What's in here? Paintbrush. Some paints. Nice sketches. Very nice sketches. That's a little creepy. A little demon or something sitting on top of that woman who's trying to sleep there. And I'm guessing that that is meant to be a nightmare. That horse. Baby being carried off by like a bird or something. That's creepy. More metals and pipes and so forth. Some uh, stuff that we can't open up. Various parchments. There's little drawers up here. More paints. It's a really cool art room though. I'm so sick and tired of us talking through these notes. We live in the same house for God's sake. Come talk to me when you're done before you go to sleep. It's funny thinking about uh, talking through notes here and nowadays we, we talk through cell phones to each other probably sitting in the same house most of the time too. Lost you deserve it. Finish it. Is it talking about finishing a painting? Perhaps this painting? Why was that supposed to be creepy? Just a little splatter of paint on here? Did the door open or something? Get it right this time. Oh. Maybe this wasn't here before. I didn't look up. But there's uh, scrawling in the wall there now. If it wasn't there before. Hmm. Get it right this time. As if the painting is not good enough or something. All of this is locked. I'm guessing uh, horror stuff will be in here. Just my guess. Wow, that is a lot of brushes and they're all snapped. Angry at uh, not having the painting that they want here. I kind of feel like this is some kind of uh, mental thing where it's just all in your head here. Especially because the people who came to look for the rats uh, didn't find anything. Well, nothing in these drawers. This place is a mess. What was that? It almost looked like there was something behind this painting. That looks kind of creepy. Kind of like some kind of Grim Reaper thing. Hauling a guy towards a, a stand that looks like he could be hung there. Oh, the door opens now. I guess... Ooh. This is different. Huh. So, I'm kind of wondering, before we go here, I'm going to check these last two chests. I'm kind of wondering if this whole game is going to be about adventuring through here. This is like an adventure of painting this painting. Getting it right, if you will. It's getting darker. Is locked again behind us. It's no longer raining outside, but it certainly sounds windy. Very windy. Oh, no, it's raining over here. Why is it not raining over here? Maybe this is uh, an atrium, an indoor one? I don't know, but it sounds super windy. Why is it not raining there? Was there a light switch in here? No. This is just a dark hallway. There is a light that's on. A couple of them. One of them's out. Probably why it makes this so much darker. There's a book down here with a face on it, but I don't know how to crouch. 
if that's even possible. In fact, I think I'll look at the controls real quick and see if it is possible. No, it is not possible. The only thing we've got is the zoom. Looks like Oscar Wilde down there is what that is. But uh, yeah, we've only got the zoom and apparently a fast walk. So we can't even run. We've only got fast walk. Whoa. As soon as that door shut, it was a completely different hallway back here. Haha. <laughs> and this is an empty room. Looks like we should be able to... Just out of reach. I was gonna say, it looks like we should be able to get out of here, but then the window slammed in front of me. While I was uh, reading that just out of reach over there. Looks like he's got a sword, almost, stabbing that person. Same picture, two different places. What do we got down here? Something to read. Reconnect with your partner. Rebuild your relationship. Rediscover the joy of marriage. Rekindle the flame. Don't worry, you're not alone. Perfect relationships may look great on the silver screen. But the rest of us mortals have to face the simple truth. Nobody's perfect. And you know what? That's fine. In fact, many loving couples struggle with day-to-day -day life in a relationship. This does not make them any less special. It just takes some work. And we're here to help. Our consultants, all trained experts in their field, will help you identify the source of your troubles and deal with it at your own pace. Whether it's simple miscommunication, money problems, or conflicting personalities, where there's a problem, there's always a solution. And remember, it's never too late. I don't know, based on the little stain down here that looks like it could be blood, coffee up there, I'd say it's too late. Someone spilled their Starbucks and then uh, got really pissy and killed someone else. <laughs> what do we got down here? Some more papers, but nothing to read, apparently. Man, this place has books for miles. Nice looking books, too. Can we open any of these uh, curtains? Man, it's super wet down here, obviously because the window was open. What is going on over here now that this has changed? It's gonna... Yep, I thought so. Locked. That's gonna get old real quick if that's all you're going to do here. Photo of some sort. A woman playing at a piano here. I cannot move this one around apparently. Oh, I've taken it. Is this just something that we collect throughout this game? Photos? I don't know. But that's why I couldn't move it around. It was different. Going in circles. Well, this looks more like it's probably wine rather than blood based on all of the, uh, all of the bottles here. That is awfully creepy looking picture. It's like some kind of demon goat thing, and then everyone's staring at it wide-eyed. This woman over here, she's like, I don't give a shit. Almost looks like the demon goat thing is telling a story to the people, and they're flipping out over the story rather than uh, flipping out over the fact that there's a demon goat in front of them. 